Okay, so we got the mowing done, and now Emma and I were headed down. Uh, my wife found some chicken feeder things on Marketplace. We're going to meet the guy and pick them up. And we may stop by the John Deere dealer since he's right next door to where we're picking these chicken feeders up. So we're here at the dealer. Um, we are probably in the future looking at getting a bigger tractor. Um, the 2025 is great in my opinion. It's, I can't say enough good things about it. But there's no doubt if you watch my videos you know we, we push that little tractor right to the limit sometimes. But it's never said no to me so we just keep we just keep going um, looking at probably a three personally I want a three R uh, I just like the R's better than the E's and plus it has a cab on it too oh yeah she wants one with a cab but uh, I'm not sure so we're gonna go look at the cab you can... I don't know how I'm supposed to I don't know how we're gonna put a pillow right there and sit <laughs> She wants uh, a big tractor with a buddy seat. Uh, I don't think we need that big. So. Yeah, but you're so nice and comfy. But she enjoys coming down here and sitting in them, playing around. What do you think of that one? Pretty nice. And plus, in two days, on Sunday, it's going to be my ninth birthday. Yeah, that's just true. She she's having a birthday. Uh, we're having a birthday party Sunday at the in-laws. That was part of the reason I was hurrying today to get the yard mowed before rain. And we actually just made it. It just downpoured about 20 minutes after I got done. You wanna check it out? But um, so I don't know if I really need a cab. A cab would be awfully nice. You got a radio. But I will. I will document our search um, for a new tractor on my channel and I'll take input, feedback, anything anybody wants to uh, add. I definitely need to get another set of remotes on the back though. So, so this this cab right here has a radio and air conditioner which is pretty cool which is why my father has to get it. <laughs> So uh, she says, um, personally, I'd honestly probably be okay with uh, with an open station. And this? Not sure. Once I got used to the heat and AC, I'd probably become soft. Right there. It's pretty cool. But I do like the cabs better. Can I go bring the camera around and, sh and do more chapters? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we are going to be doing, we are, we are going to be going to do, um, to go see more tractors. Pretty neat. And besides, this is my dad's favorite store. Size of pop ups. Yeah, it's not quite as big as the 2025. So then, obviously, this is my father's favorite store. Like I've said, he whenever we go that whenever we go that way, he just stops right here sometimes. Right, Dad? Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. Alright, so we had a good time there, um, really just kind of goofing around. I'm not going to get real serious about it until spring. Um, I just, I don't see any use in buying a brand.
brand new tractor going into winter when all I honestly do is um, feed round bales and plow snow with it. About all I'm going to do in the winter time. Oh, the wife's calling. I better take that. She didn't realize we were going to stop at the dealer. Um, if any of you are happen to be viewing from Central New York, I use Casanova equipment. Um, they are an outstanding dealer. They uh, have really taken good care of me uh, through two purchases um, and also diagnosing and getting parts and trying to, you know, things on the 2555. That, you know it's a 30 year old tractor they always seem to get parts um, so as I said I'm going to document my hunt for a bigger tractor um, I don't want to go real big because I don't need to um, you know I still want the ease of a smaller tractor in the barnyard cleaning up and things like that so a 2038 R is a possibility a 32R to me is not a big enough jump um, because I'm really only gaining you know well, I don't know what seven horsepower um, where I would be gaining you know 13 horsepower and a lot of PTO horsepower jumping up to a 38R so a 38R is a possibility uh, either a 38R or a 39R do like a few of the things that come on on a 3R compared to a 2R but I could also live without them I'm not real fussy on all the fancy fancy to me sometimes the fancy stuff is just more that can go wrong with equipment um, what do you want to say She wants to be a vlogger, by the way. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see. I subscribe to two of his videos. And I'll probably subscribe to this one too. Because I'm in it. Yeah, so anyway, it's been fun. Like I said, right now we're just kind of goofing around, getting a different feel for different tractors. Um, so it'll probably come down to a 38R. Or a 39R open station is probably what my choice will come down to. I know Tractor Time with Tim has already told me you might as well jump to a 46R um, because they're really only, I don't know, 1500 or 2000 more than the 39R. Um, so uh, thanks for helping me spend my money, Tim. My wife already doesn't like you very much. I've spent enough money because of your videos. So anyway, it's been fun. We're just, I'm gonna document my search. Uh, as we go through the winter, I'll get more serious about it by spring. It depends on whether I have to order or whether they think they'll have one on the lot if I have to order, but now I am a little bit smarter you know with having bought two tractors now I know I'm gonna get extra remotes on the back and um, probably a third function things like that Please hit like and subscribe.
Thank you for watching.